Hello guys, my name is Daedalus and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a super simple chiseled bookshelf activated door. Real quick, do remember that this only works in Minecraft Java Edition, so um, now let's get right into the video. Alright, so before we do anything, you're probably going to want to know how this all works. So let's first off put down our chiseled bookshelf. And what we can do here is we're going to need a redstone comparator attached to the back just like that should have these two little things on it uh, closer to the bookshelf and then we can place down six redstone dust behind it it doesn't matter if it's a straight line or not as long as it's connecting now if we were to put in a book right here as you can see this is slightly lit up and for each book it gets a little bit more lit up and now once we have all six books in it goes all the way to the end we can see because the repeater is lit up. All right, so now that you know how to do that, we're going to want to make the wall to put the door on. Basically, I have it right behind me, and I kind of mixed in some regular books and then the chiseled bookshelves, and right at the corner here, we have it connected to the redstone um, comparator. And now what we can do is we can start working on the Jeb door. Now it's really pretty simple, you just place the pistons like that, and then just go like this. Do remember that you got to make all the room for it, because if you don't have enough room, it's not going to work out. And be careful, because the pistons could get stuck to other things. But first off, it should look like this. Then just place your blocks in. Do remember that you can actually, currently in this version, you can't push the chiseled bookshelves for some reason. I'm not sure if that'll change, but I'm just gonna have to put bookshelves there. Then we can put on top of it some block of your choice, just like that, and then put a redstone repeater right here over this piston, and then put one right here, and then you wanna right click them each um, once, and then you just connect it with a redstone line and after that, we're going to want to connect that just to down here where the power is coming from. So if we just go like this, and then just take this redstone line all the way up here, and then we put all the books in, just like that, as you can see, it will close. And now if we take two books out, it will open back up, and you could really move this redstone line to the side if you wanted to, and you could make some pretty cool hidden uh bases and stuff behind it so that's really about for this video so hopefully this helped you guys out and i'll see you guys in my next video bye